Hey, how are you guys? I hope you enjoy this day because I have a beautiful surprise, an episode that is a special. Leslie Mary came from New York in another trip to enjoy her vacation and at the same time, she said, Carlos, I wanna explore the beautiful colonial homes you have because maybe if you have a friend who's looking to decorate a house there, we can mix a modern with a colonial taste. So Leslie gonna go with me and explore together beautiful properties here in the center of the heart of the colonial city, Granada in Nicaragua. So stay tuned. Thank you, Betty and Stacy gonna help us to walk through and film this new adventure. So stay, don't walk away, and don't forget to subscribe. Check this. Wow. Huh? Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. How about that? Huh? I love the attention to the detail. Yeah, and look it's at amazing. the doors. The doors. The doors. You know what? There is there are so many uh, link about the doors of Granada houses. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. You don't find that in the states. Hardly no, ever. Ex well, you know, for different reasons, but definitely because the the influence from Spain mm -hmm. and the Marroquí concept and the Ara Arabic ideas. Now you understand yeah. why they did it this they brought way. Right here, yeah. Yeah, and see the corridor. Exact the same layout. Yep, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. And see, they kept the same design for the lavanderos. The sinks, <laughs> yeah, actually, it's the same one. What they did is just they clean it and restore a few oh, pieces wow. of it. So because that also is another indication what it was here before. Right. And in these doors, this is where the horses used to come through. So for you, what is like when you work in different countries and you try to uh, advise somebody in the house? How, how that works? Well, I think it's just really important to get the culture and keep the culture within the interior. And also um, like a facelift, like also make it contemporary as well. So make it livable, comfortable, but also uh, not take away from the, the main elements of the country. I see. Like I love, look at they've kept, this is probably original. Yes, well, some part of it, uh, he said to me, we replicate mm. because obviously when they found this place was totally uh, demolished. Oh, okay. Nothing were here. But imagine, this was a family home. <laughs> I can't yes. eat, I can't, it's... Look at this, Leslie. I know you're gonna love this section of the house. Oh, wow. Huh? I used to sit in one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. Guys, if you remember this this chair, go to school, I remember carrying with me all the, every day, go with yeah. it, go with it. You know, we call it the pupitre. Oh. How you call it in English? Uh, desk. Desk. desk yeah. Well, we call it pupitre. pupitre. I know, it's kind of sounds yeah. hard to do it. I remember, it, you know, it's remind me a lot of stuff. I'm sure you will have a lot of memories with this pupitres or desk. So this section you see is the classic center um, garden mm -hmm. with those beautiful mango trees and is actually the original section also. All these walls are the same. Okay. And the pillars the same pillars, so yeah. it's unbelievable. But look at these beautiful pieces. Oh, I can definitely see it could be like a marketplace for antiques or for um, people selling coffee or their uh, knickknacks. Knickknacks, yeah. yeah. You know, the owner loved to collect antiques like these. And I understand in one moment, they used to have like a huge store, I think they will have something like it. But you know, for the new investor who decide to buy this beautiful piece of property, you can tell all the potential things you can do with it. Absolutely. I mean, how often can you find something so close to the center with this kind of space? It's not that easy. No. Now you're gonna have another transition through these beautiful doors to another outdoor space where it connect also with another beautiful salon. Let's Sounds go and good. see it. Okay. Beautiful. So what do you think so far? I think it's fantastic space, um, but just if it were me, I would probably um, add a lot more 
uh, color to color. the space. Mm -hmm. I would do uh, some murals from some local artists. Murals, yes. Murals. So there's a lot of potential, but um, it's good to sit with the space and also talk to the client, find out their, their needs. Definitely. You know, when you go, uh, that happened to me too, when some customers said, Carlos, I'm looking at a space like this or like that because you know my family is maybe two three or we are five people or you know somebody probably using a wheelchair so always think about right. the you know what is the layout and how is the you know uh, the shape of the land you know because too many stairs something that exactly, can change exactly like in this example look they really did something amazing they kept the tree and they cut the space out got a space the on the roof yeah. that's actually cool you yeah. know i mean if you see like you said this can be a perfect residential a boutique hotel mm -hmm. right in this beautiful park right which is halteva is well known because a lot of tourists pass by all the time right it's a it, very good good location to very good people. location no question about that and and i was thinking there's a beautiful space back here that we just looked at yes and you can do entertainment maybe a stage and you can have live music here yes there's so much potential so yeah, yeah. you know no, it's all open and wide open because also having the park next door you can do a little bit of noise and at the same time because it's so close on the main Halteva street customers when they come to visit the country they can easily walk mm -hmm. and enjoy the rest of the city right. so in the meantime i want you to see this space because this salon i ensure when you see you say carlos there you go look at it Check this place. This is one of the salons the architect was telling me um, we replicated. Mm -hmm. So actually they understood how to continue with the same features mm -hmm. and taste. Yep. And they respect oh, the high amazing. ceiling. Yeah. This salon is beautiful because you see with these doors connect with the extra outdoor space at the very back. And, and that's the where the restaurants, yeah, yeah. the restaurant, exactly. The restaurant. So you see, I mean, one of the beautiful thing about Granada houses is most of these houses used to have or have a huge salon, yep. you know, and then the, the, the center garden. Mm -hmm. And most of the rooms are always going to the very back. And the kitchen is not necessarily that kitchen you like, but right, right. that's why you said you can bring the kitchen in different sections different, of the house. Yeah. And it's cool back here too. I think they laid the layout of this place is uh, the ventilation. Is, is ideal, ideal. Yes, of course, because you know, when you have open space in the back, it's some kind of a, a, I don't know, like a tube effect of the wind go right. in and then cross yeah, it's through like all cross the rooms. Breeze. Yes, yeah. yep. precisely. So again? This is another beautiful space. Beautiful you do space. do so much with it. Yes. You know what, somebody was telling me that because you can have these rooms, also you could create like a hotel and lay out different rooms for a hotel. Right. Yeah. There's exactly. multi-purpose. This space is very multi-purpose. You can do so much with it. Hotel, venues, weddings, restaurants, coffee shop. Coffee shop, yeah. yeah. Well, they have a good coffee shop okay. here. Definitely. Excellent. I already Excellent. drank my coffee. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video today. Thank you very much, Leslie, for oh, coming to Nicaragua. Of course. I hope you enjoy it. Absolutely, thank you, it was a pleasure. My pleasure too. So don't forget, subscribe to the channel so we can bring more beautiful, I mean, amazing information. Leslie, I'm gonna see you the next episode. Here <laughs> you are, my telephone number and my email. And Leslie contact information, I'm gonna leave it in the description below of this video. So if you need to contact Leslie, she works in New York. But yeah. very soon she's going to be here in Nicaragua. So, chao, chao.